decided I'd just do this live thing one more time tonight. I think I'm going to knock out the Cat 5 rating on Pilot Edge. Uh, we're going to fly out of Santa Maria to Bakersfield for the Cat 5. It's Class Delta to Class Delta. And we will pick up flight following after departure. Uh, so we're just going to start this out. Uh, Quickly here, taking a look, uh, we got about a 76 mile uh, flight direct. Uh, we'll zoom out here, see what that looks like on the flight plan. Uh, take a look here, go with the profile, planning for 7,500 feet uh, for cruise altitude. Um, so we'll climb out, cruise at 7,500 and then drop in uh, to Bakersfield, which is a class Delta. You can see those on both ends of the profile there. Uh, which means we got to have two-way comms before we enter. Uh, so we will do that. Uh, nav log here. Go back to edit. Drop out of that. Uh, so we're looking at approximately 48-minute trips en route tonight. Uh, and the next thing we'll do is we'll take a look here. Uh, close out our flight plan here. Zoom in here. Let's see if we can't show the plate here. Take a look at the map. This is uh, Hancock Field in Santa Maria. Uh, we're talking to Santa Maria Tower. We have Santa Maria Ground. So ground's on 121.9. Uh, so let's jump inside the plane here. And let's go ahead and get some power on here. Get our beacon light on. Take a look here. So ground is 121.9. So we'll go ahead and tune that in. 121.9. We'll jump that over there. We need the ATIS at 121.15. Okay. And let's make sure we are connected to Pilot Edge real quick. We, we are connected. But I did lose my. I had to get my headsets turned back on there. All right, so let's. Six. Altimeter three zero zero eight. Arriving and departing runway one two. Visual approaches in use. One two. Please back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information, Mike. Santa Maria Public Airport, ATIS Information Mike, 0251 Zulu, wind 050 at 8, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 17, dew point 6, altimeter 3008, arriving and departing runway 12, visual approaches in use, read by call runway assignments and hold short instructions. All right. So that will give us our, we have information mic. We're expecting runway one, two. So let's take a look at where we're parked. We are parked here. Oh, wait, there we are. We are parked at the FBO, which is the Central Coast Jet Center. Uh, and runway one, two is all the way at the other end. So how will we get there? We're going to probably end up on alpha ramp. I'm going to guess that we're going to go echo. Bravo 5, Alpha 4, Alpha, which means we're going to cross the runway. That's my likely path. He could send us Echo to Bravo to B3 to A3. So we got a couple possibilities there. We're going to have to, have to really listen to that as we get to pick up our clearance. So we will call ground. We will tell him we're ready to taxi and looking for a VFLR departure to the northeast. Uh, with information Mike. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up here. All right, we'll go ahead and get our strobe light on. Already got our beacon light on. Uh, all right, let's take a look here. I need facial recognition app here, which seems to work pretty good for. All right, there we go. Left and right is clear. Outside the plane is all clear. All right. 
right, so let's go ahead and double check a couple things here. Let's move these yokes so I can see. Parking brake is set. Mixture's good. Crack the throttle. And let's go ahead and get our key on. Clear prop. And we did not start. What do we got here? Probably a little fuel issue here. That should take care of us. And there we are. All right. Go ahead and throw on our uh, navigation light. We'll wait on our taxi and landing. All right. So we are good there. And RPMs. We need to bring those down just a little bit here. It's down to around a thousand. Tower, uh, Walker 425, currently uh, passing Mount Philadad. Request full stop runway 27. Information Sierra on board. Walker 425, Olympic Tower, squad 5010, I did. 5010, I did. Didn't throw our pedo heat on. I don't know that it's required, but it's good habit. Alright, so. We'll change and identing 425. Alright, back to our map real quick here. What do we got? Walker 425, contact 7 miles north of Mission Sorry about that. Bay. I Clear think to enter San Diego what Bravo you is this. And a right down in runway 27, report missing. I got their own camera view up there. Down we'll... class of our airspace, uh, enter right downwind for 27 and report midfield, walk 425. All right, so if you're looking here on four flight, this blue ring around the edge here, this is our uh, class I'm Delta. Here's two south, bro. At, at, like the tower ready at Santa Maria uh, Regional Airport. Uh, that's our class of November uh, 22 Alpha Bravo. It uh, looks like you might be having a connection issue again. So if you can't disconnect and reconnect from the network, I don't show you on the ground. We're going direct Thanks. to okay. uh, Bakersfield, which will be to the northeast. So we're going to call up ground and we're going to request taxi and for a VFR departure to the northeast. And we're expecting runway 12. So let's get ready to make that call. We'll jump over here on my scratch pad. We have our altimeter, we have our information mic. Uh, let's get over here and double check our altimeter. So we want three zero zero eight. All right, so there's three zero zero eight on the altimeter. And information Mike expecting runway one two. So, all right, so ground is one twenty one nine. One twenty one nine is already live and in the in the radios. And we are. Just to double check this one more time, this is Santa Maria ground. And we are a Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike, so get ready to make our call here. Santa Maria ground, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike, ready for taxi and VFR departure to the northeast with information Mike. For 716 Delta Mike, uh, Santa Maria ground, take position. Uh, apologies, we are at the FBO, which will be the Central Coast Jet Center. Number 716 Delta Runway 30, taxi via Hotel Bravo 7. Runway 30, taxi via Hotel Bravo 7, 716 Delta Mike. Alright. Delta Bravo, you got me on the ground. And number 22 Alpha Bravo, from officially, you know, the voice is coming in a little bit broken too. I'm not sure if you hear me broken, but uh, in comparison to the rest of the network, you are coming in much more broken. So I think it may be a connection issue on your end. Runway 21, taxi via Alpha. All right, so he cleared us. To he cleared us for runway three zero. Well, he didn't clear us. He told us to taxi to runway three zero via no, Hotel no, Bravo right. Seven. So uh, Hotel Bravo you, Seven is what we're going to do. That? No, I did, but you immediately dropped off the scope again. It's something, something's up with your internet or your connection to the server that keeps removing your airplane but leaving your you and the voice service. So I'm not sure what's going on. Right, I'll just continue that. It's not going to work too well tonight, so thank you. Sorry, Altitude select here. We're planning on 7,500. I'm going to 
put it in at 4,000 for now. Uh, plan altitude at 4,000. Yeah, go with that. Flaps are up. Uh, there we go. So, plan on our departure. So, Hotel Bravo 7, Runway 30. So, let's get this thing spun around here. Uh, and let's see what we can do. All right, disengage parking Hello, brake. Tower, Walker 425, midfield, and uh, on downwind for runway 27. Walker 425, 27, clear to land. 27, clear to land, Walker 425. Clear left, clear right, clear all around. Got some little jankiness going on here. We need to go hotel. Just going to be here. Boy, that is a little bit rough, isn't it? All right, so this is hotel. We're going to skip the run up just for the sake of time because, uh, Checklist here, no nope. scratch pads. Tower is 118.3. Go, go ahead and tune 118.3 in here. All right, here comes Bravo 7 to our left. Clear to the right, to the left. And I failed to tell him that this was for the Cat 5, so we'll make that when we jump in here on the tower call. All right, we're going to hold up here. So there's our hold short bars. Approaching runway 30. All right, and we're going to jump over to set our scratch pad one more time. Tower is 118.3. So map here, 118.3 on the radios. And we're going to be holding short runway 30, and this is for the Cat 5. Santa Maria Tower, Cessna 716 Delta Mike, holding short runway 30. I did fail to mention this is for the Cat 5. Ready for departure. November 716 Delta Mike, uh, Santa Maria Tower, after runway 30, clear for takeoff. Runway 30, clear for takeoff, 716 Delta Mike. San Diego, uh, approaching runway 30. 30. Parker 425, tag parking, Venus, Charlie, monitor to ground. We'll take one notch flaps here. Charlie, monitor to ground. Here we go. So we can't hold her straight here. A little bit of right rudder. Airspeed's alive, they're 60, and let's rotate. We're off the ground, tap the brakes. Flaps are up. Make a uh, right hand turn out here shortly. As we climb up to our 7500.
right turn here. Nice and steady. Bring us around on course here. He did not give us any directions as far as departure was concerned. It was a VFR departure to the northeast, so without him giving me any specific instruction, I am free to go on the turnout as I wish, if he, unless he had told me to make a right uh, downwind departure or a left downwind departure or a straight out departure. He didn't give me anything specific, so. So we're planning for 7,500. Autopilot, put it in the heading mode here. And then we're going to vertical speed. Oh. Go with our altitude here for vertical speed. Five hundred. are up. Vertical speed is 500 and we are going to make a heading change now. Get on course here. Alright, now what we want to listen for is him telling us what frequency to call Santa Barbara, Santa Monica, or frequency change. So, Own course here. Tower Premier 5, Mike Whiskey, Arnav 7. Bye, Mike Whiskey, number 27, clear to land. Go to land, 27, bye, Mike Whiskey. Go in, Tires, I have one on the aisle, uh, I lost to the right. We send one one to Alpha, Alpha to Tower, and two to the right, clear to land. To the right, clear to land, back one to Alpha. So we're going to do Santa Barbara approach. At one twenty four one five. Heading should that be? Heading course five two. I think we're going to be pretty good right there. Tracking pretty good here. All right, we want to pick up flight following. So let's go ahead and hit our scratch pad here and 124.15. All right, we're climbing to altitude of 7,500.
Santa Barbara approach, uh, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike uh, is 4,300, climbing 7,300. I request flight following to Bakersfield, 716 Delta Mike. Sky 716 Delta Mike, Santa Barbara approach, Glock 6040, I'm done. Spock 6040, ID. All right, so let's get here. 60. Shit. Six Delta Mike radar contact Santa Maria out seven three zero one zero. Three zero one zero radar contact seven one six Delta Mike. Two two eight Mike echo traffic one o'clock one one miles opposite direction out ten indicates one six thousand five hundred feet for type one. to do my vertical speed down. Pick up some airspeed. So we are 64 nautical miles away. I don't need to record 10 miles inbound full stop before we get to Bakersfield. Hopefully we'll get handed off here though. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, VS this back to one, back to 500. Had a little mixture leaning issue going on there. Yes, probably should have a beverage while you're flying, but this is a video game. Somewhat. It's a simulator, but enjoy an adult beverage tonight while I can. Still got some bugs in Microsoft Flight Sim we need to work out a little bit, but autopilot is engaged. We are currently flying a heading of five seven zero five seven, climbing to seventy three hundred on the altitude. I really wanted to go seventy five hundred. Like that, 
a little finicky. I think the G1000 panel seemed to work just a little bit better when it came to this uh, vertical speed altitude selections, but Microsoft Flight Sim is going to get there. I do highly recommend this Logitech uh, multi-panel and the Logitech uh, radio panel. Take a look at the Class D here. We're going to call Santa Barbara approach, which we already did. Uh, Air traffic control will try to assign a squat code to put you in our transponder shortly thereafter. All right, once you have radar contact, you don't find any All right, so are we going to Los Angeles Center? No, we're not. He's going to tell us to switch. Los Angeles Center. He'll tell us what channel. All right, so we're coming up on our altitude here of 7,500. So hopefully autopilot will level us out there. I feel like the G G1000 is a little bit better in this. We'll see what happens here. could also go into nav mode on the GPS if I am in GPS nav. Let's see what this will do for us. us back over on course a little bit. Run that. What's aggressive though, it is not subtle. But it is direct. Quite the adjustment there. And we blew right through our altitude as I figured we would. We're already above 7,500. We still climb. We're sort of leveling out here. Let's give it a minute. We're at altitude hold. Just stay here. Seven one six South Bank contact Los Angeles Center one three five point five. Los Angeles Center one three five point five seven one six Delta Mike. Envoy thirty four hundred contact Oakland Center one two seven point four five. Number two two eight Mike at Crosswig at one two thousand Las Vegas altimeter three zero one two. Los Angeles Center uh, Skyhawk seven one six Delta Mike at seventy six thousand. 
Seven seven one six Delta Mike, LA stand up, Bacon Spit out to the three zero two one. Three zero two one seven one six Delta Mike. I think I laughed myself to death there on seventy six thousand. Might as well be working for SpaceX. <laughs> right, where's my flight suit? Still on track. We just called, contacted Los Angeles Center. All right, so let's look at where we're going. We're going to Bakersfield, so let's get over here and get a new scratch pad. We're going to Bakersfield, so. is 118.8. stay here but we'll expect those uh, we need the ATIS there before we get there let's, let's go ahead and find that ATIS channel it's gonna pop up on uh, ATIS is 118.6 Holy Center, you might get go off to get the uh, ATIS Right, my echo is approved and advised when you're back, please. We'll go. right there so we queue that up because we're gonna to have to get the ATIS as we get closer and the things that we can expect then are gonna to be tower 118.1 approach on 118.8 we're gonna get handed off uh, so we should be on Los Angeles Center here no center you make it goes back up approach number eight Mike Echo thank you welcome Los Angeles Center. We are on Los Angeles Center. One three five five. So we need to get the information there. If we get any squat code or not, we may go back to VFR. So. get handed off to approach we're going to tell them we're level at 7600 
7500. Billy Center, if you could pass along, uh, we'd like uh, Vector for the visual approach, we're only 26 left, for 8 Mike Echo. 228 Mike, I'd love to do that, but I don't really get along with the approach controller. Speaking of which, can you contact Las Vegas Approach 125.9? 125.9, .9, uh, good night. No, 716, got my contact, Vegas Field Approach 118.8. Contact Baker's Foot Approach 118.8, 716 Delta Bike. Caravan 228 Mike Echo, Las Vegas approach. Las Vegas out there at a tree zero one two. Some annoying guy at the center said you have an approach request. Number two two eight Mike Echo for you. How about the uh, visual approach only two six one? Roger. Number eight Mike Echo, uh, did you say you had a this Yankee was a little? Bakersfield Approach, uh, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike, level 7600. Hey, Mike, if you just, I'm sorry, we'll verify Yankee again. Hey, Mike, Echo has Yankee. Thank you, sir. 716 Delta Mike, Bakersfield Approach, Delta to the 30218, this is Juliet. Roger that, we have Juliet. Good afternoon, SoCal Service 816 Charlie Tango, 2000 feet. There is 816 Charlie Tango, so kind of watch. I only see a primary target about your position. Can you verify it's spoken normal? Huh? Stand by. Looks like our clock got screwed up by a one digit here. No, no, it says it's. There it was. Arriving and departing runway 30 left. Three zero right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. Do you have information, Juliet? A normal, please. Or altitude. Yeah, it's our software here doing something weird. And uh, climb maintain four thousand. Uh, no eight one six Charlie Tango Roger. Still stand by if you can. Uh, Reset or reset the uh, trend with ch change it back to alternate uh, squawk altitude. Uh, excuse me, and see if it stays. Okay, that should hopefully do it. Uh, six R ten. No eight one six Charlie Tango does too. Thank you. Thank you. Number one, Charlie Tango. Turn left heading 110, contact approach 128.1. Good night. 110, 128.1. Have a good night. One eighteen one is the tower. Makers for the tower. Approach, uh, Sirius 816, Charlie Tango, out of 2,500 to 4,000, and a uh, left turn to 110. It is Makers for the tower. 
0816, Charlie Tango, SoCal Approach, pull it in altimeter 3007. It is Lima, advice approach request, please. Okay, we'll grab Lima. We'd like the VOR Alpha, please, at uh, at Fullerton. 0816, Charlie Tango, Roger, clear direct seal beach. Direct seal beach, that's right. 0816, Charlie Tango, straight in or with the procedure then? I mean, straight in will be great for us versus our thing. You got it. Thank you. I'm clear. That's okay, I'll, uh, six star tango has Lima at four. Zero six star tango, thanks. Number six, Charlie Tango. Yep. Verify your direct to the Seal Beach VOR. It looks like you're uh, heading off course there. We're, we're direct Seal Beach uh, right now. For, uh, yeah, okay. Stand by. Sorry. Could you give us a um, heading here? Turn right heading 100. Right 100. Zero. Zero. Thank you. Six, seven, seven. Sorry about that. Number eight, Mike Echo, Park Cresso, heading 030, effective for the field. Uh, Park Cresso heading 030, vectors for uh, the airport. Hey, Mike Echo.
and the purchaser shift charge your request lower. Number six, Charlie right, Tango, descending two thousand uh, six hundred. Uh, I had to keep you up higher because of your present position. You should be ideally south of your position right now. Right, understood. Sorry about that. Down to twenty six hundred shift charge. Number six, Charlie Tango, you able to direct uh, actually. Number six, Charlie Tango, turn right heading one five zero. I got a delay back to you to get rid of uh, get you outside of Long Beach airspace. Okay, right one five zero six Charlie. Number six, I tell you, continue, continue your descent down to 2,600. I'll have you direct still be shortly. Thank you. Down to 2,600 as well, six star. Number eight, Mike Echo, descend to maintain 9,000. Contact SoCal, uh, sorry, Las Vegas approach 135.0. Down to 9,000, no, 135.0. Mike Echo. Vegas Brunch Caravan, T3, Mike Echo, uh, heading 030, descending to 9000. Number 228, Mike Echo, Las Vegas approach. Good evening, sir. Number 6, Charlie Tang, I'm another three miles, I'll have you direct uh, Seal Beach. No problem, thanks, 610. it off here very shortly uh, to Bakersfield Tower about 14 miles out the uh, 14 miles to the southwest Sierra 6 Charlie Tango down left direct Seal Beach be wall the inbound direct to Seal Beach uh, see, descending sorry, to 4500 then 8 Mike Echo descending to 7000 7000 8 Echo and drop down a little bit here speed, get ourselves down to 4,500 if we can. Vegas Pro Chief, Mike Echo has a field in sight. Number 8, Mike Echo, clear visual approach, 426 left. 3 0 1 Visual 426 two. left, 8, Mike Echo. Delta Mike, radar service terminated. Remain on beat code to contact the tower 118.1. Have a good night. Contact tower 118.1. Have a good night. 816 Charlie Tango, three miles. Bakersfield Tower, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike, uh, and 10 miles to the southwest inbound full stop with information Juliet. 716 Delta Mike. Power left downwind three zero right report midfield. Left downwind three zero right report down left mid 
downwind, midfield left downwind. Can we just confirm that was 30 right, 716 Delta Pike? 30 right. 30 right and left downwind. Alpha 6 to Northwest Ramp. November 3884, taxi to parking via Alpha this frequency. Good day. Fullerton, uh, R6, uh, Sierra State 16 Charlie Tango, just crossing the uh, VOR, uh, inbound of VOR Alpha. Goodbye. Very 16 Charlie, Bolton Tower, circle south the field, and our left downwind runway 24, clear to land. Okay, we're on the uh, VOR Alpha right now. You want us to change that? Semi, one second. Remember, I wanted to make sure I wasn't moving. Yeah, the VOR Alpha, you need circle instructions. So circle south of the field for a left down one runway 24. Okay, thank you. Circle south of the field and uh, landing on 24, which is right there. That went for 3 0 right. Okay, okay. I stay here, Colin Sagan. Alright, I'm going to set my new for the middle. What's your permission? Well, we have taxi 1-5. Let's go with the porch roof. Direct to right there. Alright, Colin Sagan. I'm here, 9050. So normally, you probably should call the clearance delivery control over since it's a uh, short flight to the eyes. So you can just taxi after this. But normally, you should call clearance. Runway 15, taxi via Bravo. 15, via Bravo, Roger. Good. Alright, so I don't yet have the airport in sight. There I do. There's the airport right there. Take an autopilot off. I'm gonna drop this nose down here a little bit. Let me get down to 55, 1500. Ready one six Charlie Tango runway four cleared to land. Clear to land on runway. Did you say runway four six Charlie? Two four runway four. Okay, nice. Now our caravan two two eight Gecko uh, visual approach to uh, two six left. Two two eight Mike Gecko last week tower runway two six left. Clear to land. Clear to land on two six left Mike Gecko. Bill Tower, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike, entering left downwind, runway 30 right. November 6 Delta Mike, runway 30 right, cleared to land. 
Free zone right, clear to land, 716 Delta Mike. Clear to land on three zero right. And I think we are already a beam past the number, so let's go ahead and pull the power. Pull the nose up. Main power is just uh make sure one I said uh already for the power. Drop in some flaps. November 9050, I think tower right, crosswind departure approved, runway 15 at Bravo 1, clips for takeoff. Right, crosswind departure approved, Bravo 15, clips for takeoff. 500. Lemberg Tower, Lemberg 15, Lemberg Golf, ready for takeoff. Runway 27, at Charlie 1. So, right. November 615, Lemberg Golf, Lemberg Tower, runway 27, click for takeoff. Click for takeoff, 617, Lemberg Golf. Alright, we got a pretty big displaced threshold here, so we gotta lengthen this out a little bit. Center us up here. And Fullerton, something weird, the uh, 816 start thing, something weird is happening with our software here. We just uh, landed on 2-4 and now our scenery changed and we're somewhere else. So we'll just terminate here anyway for 6-star um, take, okay? Okay. Runway should be made. Landing on 3 zero right. Where are we at? We are clear at Echo. All right. Three zero right, clear at Echo. Bakersfield Tower, Skyhawk 716 Delta Mike is clear runway three zero right, holding at uh, Echo. Say again. And that was for November 615 Lima Golf, can I departure? Third departure, 605, let Number 716, I'd like to exit a parking via Alpha. This frequency pass for the capsize. Taxi back via Alpha, and have a good night. November 905, Alpha Connect, then Ice Tower, 119 points. Over tower one nine point two five zero alpha. Palm Springs clear, Walker 387, IFR to bracket. Walker 387, Palm Springs clear, Silver Bracket Airport, Cathedral 1, Apart to Palm Springs, and it's file. Maintain 7,000, expect 0,000, and 0 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.7, squawk 4735. 
clear to bracket uh, Cathedral One departure Palm Springs and as filed. Seven thousand expect uh, one zero thousand one zero minutes frequency one two six point seven squawk four seven three five Walker three eight seven. One three eight seven minutes. And that'll do us. That was a good flight. So let's take a look here. We'll jump over here on fourth flight real quick and just take a quick look at our what we did here. So we just did our first flight following, and that was a pass on the Cat 5. Uh, so really good there. So departed out of Santa Maria, took a northeast uh, path direct, uh, let the GPS do the work there across that. We contacted LA Center. We contacted Bakersfield Approach. We contacted Bakersfield Tower. We came in, did a left downwind for runway 30 right. Um, talking to Tower, landed and got our taxi back to Alpha and passed on the Cat 5. So it was actually uh, pretty smooth, pretty nice. Um, for the most part, it was event free. Uh, a couple of unexpecteds. He gave me. Um, he actually had me contact Bakersfield Approach before I actually got the uh, ATIS. But he told me what the ATIS was, and I was expecting him to tell me to contact Approach, and then I was going to switch over and get the ATIS. So could be my mistake, but I was expecting him to say switch over to Bakersfield Approach. At that point, I was going to grab the ATIS, then contact Bakersfield Approach and say, hey, However, I probably should have already had it, but I was he made that uh, transfer to Bakersfield Approach sooner than I expected, uh, a lot sooner than I expected. So, uh, again, probably my fault, but uh, it's pretty cool. Highly, highly recommend Pilot Edge. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked them out, I suggest that you do because uh, if you're learning to be a pilot, and I am working to get my private pilot license, um, it's just hard to beat the confidence that you build with uh, talking to a real air, air traffic controller and, and learning these radio calls. Um, I'm getting my PPL, uh, basically just starting VFR, uh, about 14 hours in and ready to solo here. Um, but yeah, this has uh, been a great learning tool for me and uh, really comp makes me more confident on the radios when I'm actually flying with my CFI. So. Uh, all right, I'm going to cut it short, get out of here. It's been a good evening. Uh, it's getting late, and i got to work tomorrow. So uh, anyway, catch you next time. See ya.